Stu here with the Raid Shadow Legends, and in honor of the 10 times High Elf, we are only going to use High Elves from the list above me to do runs in dungeons. All stage 20 dungeons. We're going to start out with dragons here. We have the Nasal, two Royal Guards. Oh, we do have, I'm sorry. So I didn't want to put legendaries in all of them, so I did not put a legendary in here. I didn't put an Arbiter, I didn't put a Lysandra in this team. We could easily put that in here, but... You don't want to see everything with Legos, right? You want to see it done without Legos. And I wish I could do everything without. I wish we could do Spiders 20 without legendary champions on this list. I wish we could do, you know, Fire Knight without the legendary champion. But some of these are harder to do, right? You've got you've got issues where Fire Knight, we need multi-hit. We need to keep the turn meter down on the boss. Ice Golem is going to be a little bit different too because Ice Golem, you really have to have a decreased attack when you fight the Ice Golem, right? You really have to spiders whole different animal you know how spiders is spiders is insane if we try to do it with just these guys here unless i had four <laughs> if i had four leveled up royal guards in a terrell yes we could do spiders we definitely could do it no problem we just do terrell aoe decrease defense and then we have the four royal guards come in there and smash everybody and kill the spider we could do it then but i don't have four leveled up so we're gonna have to bring in some legendary champions but it looks like we're making pretty good time here we are beating the spider down I really do like the nasal. The nasal is a fantastic healer. He's booked out. My nasal is booked out. He's on a three turn cooldown to do heals. Really, really good. I just don't have, I need to find a place where I can really show how well he does. Maybe in faction crypts, maybe when we have faction crypts come back around, I can use him there and we can see some, see some action with him. Cause here he really wasn't playing a big part. Of course he was helping out, but we do have, you know, apothecary in here speeding us all up. And we have our Royal Guards tearing everything up. So a minute 22, not bad at all. Let's go on to the next one. It's going to take us a second to get through some of these. So let's go to this one. Now, again, we had to bring in Lysandra. We're running with a whole bunch of people who are magic affinity on force. And I'm surprised we can even make it through this. Like, I'm really surprised we're going to make it through this if we do. I hope we do. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we make it through here or not. So we've got, we do have Thanazel in here again. Hopefully he doesn't get targeted or killed because he he might have lower he shouldn't have lower hp no there's no way he has lower hp our Terrell has the lowest hp but he's got really high defense so he's good so if they keep attacking him we're fine plus he's in lifesteal gear you just saw we should have no problems whatsoever i i'm hoping but now the damage right where are we getting our damage from we're gonna get a lot of weak hits a lot of weak hits but we got to play with what's given to us that's it these guys right here that's all we have so i didn't want to bring in i didn't want to bring in Arbiter unless we had to I didn't want to have to bring in I didn't even bring in Ithos We could have we could have played Ithos my Ithos is geared up We could have brought him in for some more damage on the waves for sure to help us through here But not everybody's probably gonna pull it Ithos or doing anything else So let's bring in some champions you might have or you might have pulled this weekend, right? You might have gotten lucky with and you know any of these main champions here the best ones out there These three are pretty much some of the best in the game Definitely Terrell and Royal Guard are, as you know, two of the best champions in the game. I mean, hands down, for everything we do in this game, they are some of the best. To it, really, even over legendary champions. Now, I know legendary champions are amazing. They can do some crazy things. But when you talk about progress, progression or in-game through dungeons, a Terrell and a Royal Guard can get you a long way and are still even used by people who have all those crazy legendaries. They really are because they're that good. They are that good. So I'm hoping that we can make it through here in a decent time. As long as we can get some damage here. Okay, we got some... You know, you're not always going to weak hit, right? Not always. It's a 35% chance to weak hit, I believe. I'm going to have to recheck that. But you guys let me know in the comments below. Is that correct? I think it's a 35% chance to weak hit. And when you weak hit, you do... How much... Or is it 35% less damage when you weak hit and you can't crit? It's one of those. I'll have to refresh my memory. I've actually got it on our Discord under our guides. But, you know, you've got the percentage chance to weak hit. When you weak hit, you do like 35% less damage. And then you cannot apply, you know, debuffs. You can't lower turn meter. You can't apply any of your debuffs. So it makes a big difference, a huge difference. And then when you have advantage, you can hit harder, actually. So I'd have to look back over it. Again, it's something, it's something I didn't have on hand when I started going through this. But you guys let me know below. It's in the game, too. We can look it up in the game. So here we go. So it plays a big role when you're coming through these dungeons and you got to go through with a whole bunch of magic affinity. Even though we did do Fire Knights on a previous video months ago where it was the one team to rule them all, where we had all magic affinity. We had Gorgorab. We had, who else did we had? We didn't have a Royal Guard. We had Terrell, Gorgorab, Apothecary, Kale, and Allure. And they ran through Fire Knight 20, Spiders 20, and Ice Golem 20 very easily. 
very easily because then it was all magic no problem Terrell again was being targeted because he had the lowest HP but really high defense so he could take the hits we had Gorgorab there to revive us back we had Allure here to keep the turn meter down easily keep the turn meter down on the on the Fire Knight here and then when we brought them into Ice Golem 2 it was very easy of course Dragon's easy so that team's pretty cool pretty cool team no legendaries that can do all of it there we go we got a good hit there okay not too bad as long as we get those crits off and it's not a weak hit, we're fine. We are fine. That's not bad. You know, not the best time in the world, but not bad time. And my Royal Guards are not, you know, pumping insane mad damage like other people's Royal Guards. They are set to do four hits on the Spider, and that's it. That's all I use them for, for the most part. All right, we're going to sell that. Let's get over to Spiders now. Since we're talking about Spiders, we'll take care of Spiders, and then we'll save Ice Golem for the last. Probably going to take the longest. So here we are with Spiders. Again, I do have to bring in a Legendary to even hope this will work. The Nasal's gonna, let's go. The Nasal's gonna die quickly because he's only level 50. He's the weak affinity and doesn't have the highest of any kind of stats because he's level 50. If we could have brought him up to 60, I'm sure he could survive longer. He could probably get back around to a three turn to do a heal on himself, hopefully. Because look, he's already taken one turn. First turn he put it up. He's gonna take another turn soon. There we go. But he's going to get bombarded by spiders in just a minute. And we need to go four turns to get back around to our takedowns for our Royal Guards. Not to say we might not finish it. We might finish it. We might not finish it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's going to be close. It's going to be a close one. Obviously, if we had it, honestly, if we had Apothecary in here, it might be worse off. If we had Apothecary, they might gun for somebody else. So it's kind of good. that Look at that. He got a heal off. It's kind of good that they are going for Thanasal. That way it leaves everybody alone. It leaves everybody alone to do their jobs. Okay, he can be the patsy. There we go. And we're back around to it already. That was fast. Okay. So, so thank you, Thanasal. Thank you for your sacrifice. We're done in less than a minute. All right. Oh, we still can't sell from here. That's coming. 1.15, maybe we can sell from there. All right, Ice Golem. Last one. Here we go. We're making good time. We're making good time. So in this one, much harder, right? Really, for Ice Golem, you have to have a decreased attack. You've got to. you got to bring in a decreased attack, AoE, so that you make sure that you get decreased attack on the boss. Because when he does all those, those hits on you, and then now, since everybody will always pop off their AoEs, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous to go in there, especially if you don't have a decreased attack. 50% decreased attack on that boss saves your butt. It saves you on any boss, really. It does. It saves you on any boss. So we'll see. Let's see. We had to bring an Arbiter to make sure we could get people back to life because this next wave with the Reflex from the Terror Beast are going to be a nightmare. And then we need Lysandra in here. We've got Royal Huntsman, which is also on this list over there. Royal Huntsman, which I love to play. He's a great champion, phenomenal champion, has so much going for him. And then, of course, we've got Lysandra again in here to turn meter, manipulate everybody, speed us up, slow them down. We're good to go. If we can do this, if we can get this done on the boss. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We might be able to get it past this. It depends on the Royal Guards because now... Royal Guards will take down. Everybody will do their AoEs when they're off cooldown. So if the Royal Guard just decides or if, you know, the cooldown lines up to where he does it when, you know, the two minions are still up and we bring the boss down below the threshold, it's going to be, we're all going to be dead. Like even my, even my Arbiter will not survive through that because he ignores 100% defense. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be, let's see what happens. It's probably going to happen. We're probably going to die. It'll be okay though. It'll be okay if we die. I'm sure you've run this plenty of times, so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, we got a decrease. There we go. Uh, hey, hey, we didn't bring him down. We're lucky. Okay, we can take that hit. We can take that hit. Get a decrease. No, 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 no. <laughs> wow. With just one minion up and no decrease attack, he took out my Arbiter and the rest of these. I can't believe he took it because my Arbiter's at least a little bit tanky. Wow. She's at least got 50 or 60k HP and something else. And all he did is ignore 50% of the... If, he, if Terrell could have run in and gave us a decreased attack on him, we would have been set. Come on, Terrell. Do, do it at least now. Even though there's no way we're going to survive. Do it. Decrease attack. Come on. Decrease. There we go. Now we've got it up. If only our Arbiter would have survived. Boom. Terrell's got this. He's got this all on his own. No. <laughs> no, he doesn't. But they, these are the champions you can summon so if you were on stream last night and watched our stream we summoned over 200 or right at 200 it was 200 and i think there was one more account i'll have to replay it it was 200 for sure because i had 10 there was 93 97 and then i'm pretty sure we did another account we did over 200 and we did not summon we summoned we summoned eventually one legendary champion it was not a high elf and 
we did see a few Terrells every once in a while, and I think that was it. It really wasn't good for high elves. It wasn't. And hitting 0.5%, of course, is very hard. And we did, you know, it took us 200 and something. That's legit, right? That's what it's going to take for you to hit that 0.5%. That's why it's always better to wait for two times summon. So that's what we got, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We did, you know, what we could with the, with the dungeons, with those champions. Those champions are amazing. I wish you the best of luck on especially getting a Terrell if you haven't gotten a Terrell. And two, at least two Royal Guards. And I will see you guys all on a video soon.